Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos. Hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. Sorry I'm fidgeting because my hair's um, annoying me, it's getting right into my, my top. So, if you've never watched one of my messages before and you've just stumbled across this video on your newsfeed, I'm a seer, I tap into past, the present and future energies. I'm a psychic, I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for the divine and all my messages right now are twin flame related or at least 95% of them is. So if you've been stumbled upon my channel for any reason, you could definitely be a twin flame. So I hope you find the answers you're looking for here. But I also channel a lot from the divine about your gifts and how you can help move forward. And I feel this message tonight is very specific for excuse me <laughs> for a group of twin flames I just had a drink of water and it burped um who they have their ancestors coming through strong here this is for shamans of the light your ancestors have been preparing for, pre preparing you for this moment for a long time so if you've summed across this video you could be from a very powerful shaman um lineage of some kind so I'll begin all my messages the same way Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance, and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home, and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective? Can I also ask that you surround whoever watches this message online, surrounding their loved ones, their home and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can I please ask you to stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay. So I've got a few decks out here. I've got, <clears throat> I'm starting with my, one of my shaman decks. And I also have my elders of the spirit world deck, which is very powerful deck in the fact that the there's elders in the spirit world who ascended thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Very powerful shamans. And... They definitely are guiding many of you right now to take up your role, to do the, the lineage of your shaman elders are very proud. So, and I've also got my ancestors deck, so we'll see which ones we get round and I've got my tarot so we can dig in a bit deeper to the present, what's going on with this twin flame, either couple or number of twin flames. And I've also got messages from your higher self to help with any healing that needs done. So, I'll take another sip of water. Clear the energy. And let's do it. There's a, a lot, a lot going on tonight. Now I'm seeing um, the planet with the ring around it, Saturn. Saturn energy is important here. Was it Saturn with the ring around it or Jupiter? I'm sorry, I'm not really good with my, my, how my planet, how the planets look. I'm sure Saturn's the one with the ring around it, isn't it? But I'm seeing the planet with the, the disc ring around outside. Um, let me see. Oh, sorry, I forgot I moved everything around and I now have my my time up here on this shelf. So I rejigged my workspace. <laughs> so where will we begin? Yeah, I'm going to start with my this shaman deck. So let's get an overall energy of what's going on here. Now I'm doing things a bit differently, guys. I'm still doing my main twin flame reading, which is this one, which will be, which is always a bit longer and more in depth. But I'm also doing shorter ones now as well because when I'm getting so many messages through, rather than trying to get them all through in one video, which it can get quite muddy because I'm trying, sort of maybe picking up on two or three different sort of messages, I'm now um, doing things 
differently so I've just recorded a message specifically for a Divine Masculine or a group of Divine Masculines and I've also posted a love message from someone's masculine so that's really sweet and lovely so go and check that out if you feel called to um, cause I'm sure by the time you see this one I've already posted the other two because um, they're already loaded so I'll just be doing a couple of short ones to get out short messages for those that need it most any visions or anything like that I have um, or downloads um, but I'll still be doing my main twin flame reading so this particular reading as I say is twin flames who are shamans of light and your ancestors are have been preparing you for this this journey for a long time. So, can I get some overall energy, please? And thank you. Collective are open to the guidance you have for them at this time. Eye of the needle, intentionality. So, there's something here about you're you're about to see things very very clearly you're about to see what exactly your role in the new earth is going to be there's something here about there's going to be some sort of clear path opened up for you some sort of clear vision of what you have to do Now this card is about dreams as well, so you could be ha so you could have dreams about a needle or something like that. But seeing through the eye of the needle, something it's like a very very clear intention, so focused. Yeah, that's what they're saying, focused. So you could you could get some sort of dream. So. As I say, these cards are dream related as well. So after watching this video, if you feel this resonates, you could start to have dreams about things that have been said in this reading. But there's something here about inten in intentionality, but having such focus and something's about to be, the path's about to be cleared for you in some way. Card number 17. So straddling the worlds, wandering between realms. So again, this is somebody who's between, this is somebody who's on their ascension journey right now. Could be divine feminine or divine masculine energy. I'll check when I get to the tarot, but this is telling me there's someone here who is between dimensions. And I remember being at this stage myself, right at the start of my journey, um, thinking to myself, is there a fifth dimension? Is there more dimensions? And starting to understand because I was starting to feel things that were in my you know the usual sort of recurrence and then I started to realize there was other dimensions other worlds and stuff like that so there's something here this person is definitely starting to understand but I mean when you oh just knocked my my Atlantis pendant nearly off the stand um there's something here as well about this person understanding now that, that it is a fine line we have to even when you went through your full ascension you still have to carry on a normal life and that is what that is what can be hard because you you know all this otherworldly wisdom and knowledge and you have all these these supernatural gifts coming in but yet you still got to walk out your door and be your normal self and if you run that how I mean you still have your family to consider and stuff so someone here could be in that energy right now because they're trying to gain focus but they're also trying to balance out their spirituality with their normal everyday life yeah heart home compassion so I'm definitely feeling that somebody was trying to um sort of get into that energy of trying to balance everything and it could be in their sort of home environment but I also feel this this is um someone or a group of people who are actually discovering that home is where the heart is and it's funny because I've I heard all these sayings all my life home is where the heart is and stuff like there's no time like the present we've heard these sayings all our life right but never really full under understanding what, where they came from really 
I mean, I understood, like, no time like the present, it's just saying don't wait till tomorrow. But Archangel Metatron always uses that term to me. There's no time like the present. And that's because out with human existence, out with the world, there is no time. It's only present moment. That's it. Present moment is all that exists out with the world, out with human thought. So when Archangel Metatron says there's no time at the present, it's saying live in the moment. And home is where the heart is. We've always heard that. And actually our home is our heart. When we connect to our heart, we return back to ourselves. We return back to our higher self. And that is connecting us with home. Now home means different things to different people. It can be heaven. It can be... It can be any star constellation. It can be a planet. It can be Mintaka. It can be Orion. It can be anywhere. It can be Lemuria, Atlantis, whatever you feel is home to you. For many of us, we've had many homes. and But this is more about saying, um, this is twin flames here who are actually starting to tap in now to the energy of this is our home. Opening up to compassion and unconditional love brings you back home. It brings you home to self. Anything else, please? And then I'll get some tarot and find out a wee bit more about what's going on in the present of this connection. So, the caterpillar opportunity. Wow, now I actually, I have recently had a dream about a caterpillar, so that is so strange. Um... And I do, my guides show me caterpillars a lot and I always just associate them with pre-metamorphosis because obviously the caterpillar munchies, we've all read the book, The, the Hungry Caterpillar. And the caterpillar is like the pre-metamorphosis stage for the butterfly before they go into the cocoon. But it also means an opportunity, so that's interesting. I've never saw this card like that before. Um, so there's something here about an opportunity about, op about to open up. And I think it's to do with your gifts. I think it's to do with your role in the new air. So your ancestors could be bringing some sort of opportunity or gift your way um, to help in some way, to push you forward. Let's see. Anything else? So spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. There's some sort of opportunity coming in here that's going to open up a whole new world to you, you and your twin. So it's almost like you could be traveling, you could be, I mean, what I always say, especially for starseeds, and there's a lot of you watching this channel, I know, especially if you're a starseed, the one thing that is definitely your divine mission is to have fun, joy, fun, do everything that makes you happy. Because as soon as the star seed does something that makes them happy, they light up. I don't know if you've ever seen that film, um, Starstruck. And it starts out with Tristan trying to, a star has fallen. And I think Claire Danes was the, the star that fell. And she just looked like a normal, a normal female. Very beautiful, but normal female. And... But until he started to show her love and he was twirling around and they were dancing on the pirate ship and um, with the very camp Robert De Niro as the pirate lord and he was dancing with her and she was happy and immediately she, there was this glow, this gold and white glow came off her. That's what happens with star sheets. Very like that. And I can't, sometimes I think how realistic movies are. Um, like, some of the people who write these movies, they know a little something, something, don't they? Um, but yeah, there's something here about adventure, more playtime, more fun together. And just you guys having fun is going to raise the vibration of those around you. And it's going to make you both light up and spread even more love and joy. I mean, shamans are not just healers, their energy is healing. But shamans are also powerful prophets, they're seers. So there's definitely um, a lot of beautiful opportunities coming in here and your ancestors have been preparing you for this 
for for lifetimes for this moment and i'm going to figure out what this moment is <laughs> magician sword confidence is your magic whoa whoa i love this i love this i love this card i feel like i'm, I'm lighting up now <laughs> my star sheet airs are like woo. um this is beautiful beautiful that your aunts whoever this is your ancestors are giving you all they're giving you all the gifts they're giving you all your ancestral gifts from all your past ancestors because you've done some sort of work here your heart they will not all everyone's ancestors they will not give you your your spiritual inheritance which can be your gifts it can be financial as well can be both but until you're in this energy of heart you're the heart being your home and this whoever i'm speaking to you you're focused you're doing what you can to straddle both world, worlds be a human being you're being a human and being a being of love and light there's opportunities coming in for adventure and you've got magic magician sword Marilyn, Marilyn, um, Lenny's again. That's been coming through a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely something to do with the sort of Marilyn line coming through again. Um, as I said, I said the other night in my video, the Merlin, obviously we know the magician Merlin, and he was a Merlin, but Merlin is a lineage of healing magic, shamanic healing, um, psychic abilities, but magic, divine magic. And some this this could be someone who's about to get um their ancestral magic. So it says overflow, overwhelm and plenty. So, oh my, I, I just can't. Somebody is getting an overflow of abundance and gifts. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to calm down. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, and a lot of water here. Because we've got spirit of the river. Which has looked to me Lady of the Lake energy as well. The magician's sword and overflow of abundance and plenty. Adventure. Fun. All for opening up to your heart space here. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. The lost compass getting back to integrity. So that's whatever whatever you feel that you have lost it's been returned dance is on one foot balancing act so this definitely um you have been this energy in the past whoever i'm speaking to you have definitely feel that like, felt like you had lost a lot of integrity you may have lost yourself at one point but you're getting rewarded here for doing the work look at this the eye of the eagle rising above Wow. Yeah, rising above the free. Seeing things from a higher perspective, rising above your enemies, rising above the negativity, but just seeing a clearer picture, an eagle eye view of your life. There's definitely been something here like me talks, see look, me talks and deep quiet. So meditation and stillness is so important right now and repairing the body and mind. So there's definitely a lot of this um energy for a lot of you come through as well spending more time meditation um well unmarked trail revelations so you've definitely been following a path you weren't sure where it was going to lead to and which is something we all have to do you were following your guidance with blind faith the horned cactus resourcefulness so you've definitely had to act um, with your intuition guiding you the whole way so teachability so there's something here about you 
So teachability and adaptability. So you could be taking guidance and adapting as you go. Yeah, look, beloved, radical, radical acceptance. But you have been taking divine guidance here. You're using your resources. You're digging in deep. You're spending time in deep meditation and this deep, quiet energy. Um, and as I say, this me talks, I love that term, me talks, I love it. Um, will of the wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. So this is all about going through your shadow side and coming out the other side into the light. This is beautiful. Whoever this is, you are getting so much magic and gifts and divine inheritance and you're setting off in this beautiful embarking on this beautiful spiritual journey with your ancestors guiding you the whole way it's just amazing I can't, it's just that's such a beautiful spread already and <laughs> i've not even tapped into any other cards yet i'm going to get some guidance here from the ancestors and then i'm going to i'm going to get some guidance from your elders the spirit elders of the spirit world but i'm going to also get some tarot as well and see what's going on with the Twin Flame connection overall. But this is beautiful, whoever this is for. Absolutely amazing. Okay. I, I put my titles in cap, capital letters for my other videos because I thought because I saw some people try that and it does stand out more so I don't know I'm going to try it today I don't know if you don't if you prefer the lowercase titles I'll put it back so high priest high priest and and there's the owl as well so intend and create so we got intentionality with the first card out this is this is a divine map. I put on my glasses so I can read that small black print. But there's this is definitely a divine masculine here. Um, I just saw twenty two twelve. This is a divine masculine who is definitely being rewarded by their ancestors here. They're getting so much for doing work. Okay, let's see. Any other messages, please? Any other messages, please? Thank you. Stargazer, set your sights higher. And there's that eagle energy again. This is about telling this masculine you are capable of so much more. I mean, you are, this is, I'm talking, this person has powerful, powerful um, magical gifts here. Um, but they're getting everything from their ancestors. So like, say they had an ancestor who was a powerful magician, um, who was a powerful Merlin, getting those gifts. Another um, ancestor who was a powerful healer, getting those gifts. I mean, the Merlin line is healing as well. The Merlin line is healing magic. Um, but there's something here about, you know, they could be getting all the psychic abilities, see it, but something like this. They are getting all their um, shaman ancestors' um, gifts here. The summer, bask in joy and light. This is adventure energy. This is being a constant energy of summer and sun and happiness. They want this person to live a life of joy and happiness always. With those beautiful gifts to use wisely to help everyone around them. But just to live a happy, joyous life. Any other messages please? Star and ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. So powerful shaman energy, but powerful star energy coming through. And there's a pyramid. So definitely a strong Atlantis, Egyptian um, past life energy coming through as well. Autumn, release the old and allow the new to come in. So there could be something where we're currently in the tail end of summer so there could be something happening now and something coming up in the autumn time as well so between now and kind of autumn something could be changing in you in this person's life releasing the old and bringing in the new could be seeing a lot of crows ravens but there's definitely um 
Taking my beautiful energy coming in here. And I feel very calm. That's what I was saying in my Divine Masculine reading um, my video that I posted earlier. It's there's the, the Divine Masculine energy used to be very frenetic and cards. Like when I look back at my videos a few months ago when I first started tapping into the Divine Masculine energy, it was very frenetic and the cards were like flipping out and going everywhere and um but it's a very calm, serene thing now because the masculine energies are really starting to balance out, which is amazing. And they're now starting to understand about their, their gifts and they're doing the work. And that is why this masculine or a group of masculines here are being rewarded with something. This person could have a telescope. Just when I'm looking at that stargazer holding a telescope in their hand, this person could be very interested in the stars, planets. Um, see or see beyond the current situation. This person is getting a lot of abilities. Magic, seer, healer, all of the above. And so this person could be a prophet, something like that as well. But there's there's definitely a lot of I mean they could have yeah, they could have answer this this person does high is a high priest energy, high priest from Atlantis or Egypt energy coming through. The seer abilities, they could be definitely um very good with um you know like, what's the word again? <laughs> Astrology, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, water guardian connecting with the emotions. So this is someone who is now we solve homes where the heart is. This person is now opening up to their emotions and finally connecting through that heart space. Sage, be devoted and connected. So this person's definitely spending, this is kind of hermit energy for me. This person's been spending time alone, getting in touch with their emotional side, opening up their heart space. The Shaolin master, be graceful in movement and in your actions. So this is just moving always with grace. And I feel the... The um, Shaolin Master is definitely very much, um, I get a sort of Shambhala energy from this ener this card as well. So this person could have connected to Shambhala. Um, but also the Shaolin monks, they are fast, but they're graceful. They don't, they're measured, they focus on things. So remember we, we saw the card about need the eye of the needle, like focusing and you know that's what they say about ninjas and stuff like they can their their focus is so precise they can see through the eye of a needle so there's something here about focus but moving with grace at the same time taking action but do it with grace okay lord take charge and authority so this is leadership this is this masculine is stepping into some sort of leader role here and earth earth mother so Feel loved and held. So, um, sorry, feel, no, it's not loved and held. Feel loved and comforted. So this, this to me is mother guy energy. All over it. But this masculine could be um, definitely some sort of earth warrior or earth guardian as well. They could be doing something for, to help the environment to help nature and things but there's something about this masculine feeling nurtured by nature and by mother Gaia energy but there's definitely some sort of leadership role this masculine stepping into definitely a leadership role and I got that when I started this message and I said shamans of light your ancestors have been preparing you for this I felt this person was stepping into a leadership role guardian angel you are not alone Yeah, there's something, this masculine has a lot of powerful <laughs> shaman protectors. Just as I say, that's what the deck on shaman. Trust in your higher power. Earth guardian, yes. This masculine is some sort of powerful earth guardian that works through Mother Gaia. Very connected to trees, nature, all of the above. Um, wise astrologist, high priest, powerful ancestors um, and the stars as well. A lot is going on here. Lady, enjoy growth and reap the rewards. 
So this masculine is definitely reaping the rewards for all his hard work and his efforts here. And it could be in the form of their beautiful divine feminine energy as well. And look, there's the eagle card again. Now, eagles are very significant to, to shaman energy too, especially to seers. Um, seers can see through the eyes of, of hawks, eagles, owls. Um, so it's a it's a beautiful gift to have. Um, they can get a bird's eye view through their third eye. They can actually connect with birds and things like that and actually see through the eyes of a bird. Um, certainly one of my past lives that my owl was my eyes in the sky and it's still a beautiful gift I have. I can, I actually, sometimes I get visions of being, um, getting a bird's eye view, flying over mountains and things and it's a beautiful thing. So this person has very similar gifts, I feel. Um, let me get some tarot on the current situation. I'm trying not to make this too, too long. So I'll get some guidance from the elders after this. I just want to check in on this person and what's going on in this masculine's life as of right now. So let's get some energy on this masculine or group of masculines. So, and I'll get some zodiac signs. So, um, in a moment. Hello. Somebody's just turned my tap on and off. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but my tap literally turned on and then turned off. <laughs> Somebody's ancestor definitely wants them to know. They are rooting for you. So, let's see. Can you give me some guidance on this masculine? Nine of Swords. Ah, this person's definitely... Um, feeling, feeling bad about something. Could be the same mask that I was picking up on my previous reading. Eight and nine of cups. This person walked away from their wish fulfillment. Don't. Homer Simpson moment, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why the nine of swords. And my Atlantis pendant has just started swinging. <laughs> Judgment. This person made a really bad decision about something. But I think they feel like they're under judgment. This could be the same masculine I'm picking up on from my first message. It was giving them, telling a masculine to get out of their head that they had a very important role. And that I, you know, it was very specific for a masculine I had a vision about who was sitting, you know, balled up, kind of really fraught with emotion, depressed, feeling like they had failed. Um, Ace of Coins. But this person needs to stop overthinking. Because... I feel this person's going through some sort of powerful awakening, powerful shift right now. But this is a huge blessing coming in. I mean, it's, I mean, this, this one's going to need these kind of muscles to carry this blessing. <laughs> They're going to need the, all the power to carry. The, this masculine does not understand how cherished they are. Or this group of masculines, whoever that I'm speaking to here. Could definitely be very specific for one or two masculines. Palace of Cups. Now, we saw the Water Guardian opening up to the emotions. Now, the Palace of Cups is spending time in deep emotion. It's just letting your emotions out. Like, just letting them go. And emotions can be everything. Anything that is a feeling within you. So, but... There's something here about this masculine just opening up to the emotions. Their heart space is opening up. They're realising home is literally where the heart is. Tell me more about this masculine energy right now who walked away from this wish fulfillment. Oh. Stuck in their head. Devil and the hermit. This person... 
is really battling something here through a dark night of the soul. And they, this person needs to see the light at the end of the tunnel here because they have so, so much, so, so much here about to come in for them. Three of Cups, celebrations. This person is definitely battling a lot of fears and insecurities. Yeah, Archangel Michael is definitely working with this masculine. Um, there's healing, alchemizing, faith, wheel of fortune. Destiny is trying to push this masculine onto his rightful path. There's something about this masculine's past that's keeping him stuck. And it may have been because he feels, yeah, look, this masculine, this masculine feels like he's failed God. And I got this energy in my previous message. This masculine feels like they have failed their divine feminine. They feel that they've failed God in some way. Um, but they haven't. They haven't. They haven't at all. This person needs to get through this dark night of the soul, stay in faith and understand that, look, they have a huge, bright, beautiful ten of cups ahead of them. Yeah, but they're in this energy, or at least they were. Eight of coins, as I say, this was a masculine who definitely um, has been trying to work on themselves. This person could have some sort of issue with the right arm. They could have, they could have had this arm injured in some way, their right arm. Sports injury, injury at the gym. Something. Playing squash or something like that. Queen of Swords. So clarify the Queen of Swords. Is this, the Queen of, is this Queen of Swords the Divine Feminine? <laughs> she is. The Queen of Swords is the Divine Feminine and she could be an Aquarius with a star card right there, which I'm trying to cover up some of the, the whoopsies. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, this Queen of Swords, this, is, this masculine wants to give equally. Now, this person definitely did not give to this connection as much as he could have um you could definitely have aquarius in your chart you don't have to be in your sign but they could have an aquarius in your chart but that i mean obviously the empress is is libra and taurus energy as well um it's strange i'm looking at a lot of the cards out here and i'm seeing a lot of saturn energy I don't know if Saturn could be very significant. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. And the Fool. So this person is going to really take a leap of faith back towards you. This person now sees you as their partner. Partner material, wife material. Um, <laughs> Ace of Swords at the bottom, that's the truth. This person now sees you as wife material, but they also see you as being very smart, intelligent, very forthright, take no prisoners, but also you have boundaries up here. But I think this person sees you as highly intelligent, focused, but they also see you as the perfect wife material with the Empress and the um, Queen of Pentacles being here, Palace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. This person has definitely been overthinking this connection. They've definitely been overthinking it. They've been spending a lot of time and the Palace of Swords is definitely overthinking. Overthinking, spending a lot of your time in deep thought. But generally when it comes out with the Two of Pentacles, I mean, the Palace of Swords can be like kind of, um, when it comes out with the Hermit, that's someone who's going within and spending time in deep contemplation, which I do feel this person is doing or has been doing. But there's something here about this person overthinking and definitely keeping themselves stuck between two options here yeah four of swords this person's been healing they've been silent oh there's a card back to front in here <laughs> it came out it was in my deck like this nine of pentacles 
So there's definitely something about a very, this masculine has some sort of very luxurious life coming in. Now luxurious can mean something different for everyone, but I did feel this masculine's going to have plenty. An overflow of abundance, an overflow of gifts, an overflow of joy and happiness coming in for them. And it's what they are destined to receive from their ancestors. Seven of Swords and the Palace of Wands and right behind that the King of Wands and the Moon. So this person, that gives me the energy of someone who was very, very much passionate. Maybe verging on too much passion, but they tried to hide their feelings. They tried to keep their feelings hidden. And again, there's that star card. Yeah, four of clubs. They tried to, they tried to um, ignore their emotions over you, Divine Feminine. And then I feel they may have lost you. Or, yeah, or they walked away from you. Because they have clubs and they have clubs. They walked away from you. And now this person's wondering how they can come back to their wish fulfillment. How they can come back and repair this with you. After rejecting love. And in my previous reading I've just done, I was talking about how even when someone doesn't reciprocate the love back to you, it's always important to give it anyway and let them know how important they are and how much you value them and how much you love them. And I feel this masculine wishes now they had reciprocated the love. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person now wants to fight for this partnership with you. <laughs> they have definitely been battling a lot of their own demons here. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, and the the, the Six of Swords tells me they're trying to move past that. They're trying to move past that um, energy. Two of Swords, yeah. Um, a lot of mental anguish going on with this person. A lot of heavy energy has been around this person for some time but i'm looking at temperance here so this could definitely be an earth angel who has been who has felt that look see ten of wands and seven of cups this person feels like they have let down god in some way and the message i was trying to get out to this divine masculine or whoever this group of divine masculines are you have not feel god some of the most powerful masculine energies in the Bible who have done so much in history failed until God raised them up again. And that is what this masculine is going to be raised back up again. He is going to be raised. Yeah, he needs to, yeah, the, the five of wands and ten of swords definitely want to come out. He needs to let go of the past here. This masculine is truly in love with you. And he had that. But I feel he's opening up to his heart space now. <laughs> I told you there's some sort of deep transformation happening. They're opening up their heart space. And their ancestors are trying to help. That's the truth. Strength. And six of wands. And the world card. This person, and there's a page of cups, this person is opening up their emotions and I feel that as part of their journey is to actually let down those walls, work with their ancestors here. And I think when they do that, they're releasing some sort of heavy, um, and the sun, I just realized the sun had fallen out here on the table. I didn't even see it. And it, look, it was lying with the nine of wands. <laughs> this person's wanting to fight for their happiness now. Where did you speak out from, son? <laughs> wow. I mean, this... Whatever happens here, this masculine's getting a victory. They're getting a victory. Whatever happens. I feel they're not going to... It's like... This King of Wands is not going to give up until they get their happiness now. And I feel they have such a strong team behind them and there's the knight of cups and the page of cups so i mean emotions overflow of emotions four 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 just as i said that 
So very protected masculine as well, or group of masculines here. But this is someone who has a lot of amazing gifts coming in. So if this resonates with you about your masculine, the reading I sent out about a divine masculine, that could be resonant of this as well. In fact, my message last, my main message last night, because I posted a couple of messages, and my main message actually tied in with my two short messages. <laughs> so it could be the same thing tonight. Um, so, yeah, I split the deck again on King of Wands and Three of Pentacles. This person does want to take action here. They want this partnership with you. They want this beautiful divine love with you. But they've been stuck. Indecision. I mean, they walked away from you. They, I just split the deck on King of Wands and the, the nine of cups again and the tree of life here and right behind that the ace of cups now the tree of life is higher wisdom and knowledge understanding a divine connection understanding you're totally connected to the divine through heaven and earth and ace of cups so this person is definitely opening up now to this unconditional love energy the chariot and the three of cups this person is coming in here with some sort of, this person is going to shock you because, I, yeah, this person is definitely going to shock you. Again, Ten of Wands and the, the Palace of Swords, overthinking, thinking they failed God. They could be in this energy right now, on their hands and knees, praying to God for help to give them another opportunity with their Divine Feminine. But their ancestors are, are with them all the way. I'm going to leave the deck on the Ace of Cups. I'll just split the deck on the Ace of Cups again. I'm going to get a message from the ancestors. Um, from not from the, yes, from the ancestors, but from the spirit elders. And then I'll get um some zodiac signs and then a little message from this masculine higher self to help him heal in some way. I'm saying him, but it could be her, whoever the divine masculine is in your connection. If this is resonating, can I get some guidance from the um, Spirit Elders, please? The collective are open to your guidance and any wisdom you have at this time. Thank you. About this masculine. Teacher. So this person could definitely be a teacher. Um... Heart shape, fire, passion again, air, health and mindfulness. So again, that energy of being, um, taking time out to focus on your passions, follow your passion, um, follow your heart's passion. This is all about your heart shape, passion. What fills your heart with love? And again, 19 air, thought energy, but this time keeping your thoughts in a more mindful way, not allowing them to overrun and stress you out in any way, bring you anxiety. I think the, the elders are trying to help the masculine into that energy. Bravery, bear spirits. So this masculine could have a, a spirit animal with the bear surrounding them right now, giving them that extra protection because I did see 4444. But this is all about the masculine just stepping into his courageous, brave self. He has nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. He is surrounded by divine support and love. Protection. He is guided by so much beautiful energy here. Anything else, please? Bit of elders. Throwing caution to the wind. <laughs> I think they're trying to get this masculine to throw caution to the wind and take, take a leap of faith. The forest support, exactly. I told you this masculine is so much divine support. It's like he never has to worry about walking through these dense forests. The forest can be a really scary place. Filled with lots of surprises. Lots of unexpected twists and turns, especially if you get into the forest at night. But this masculine should not fear anything. He should not fear going into a deep forest because he is surrounded by support. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? 
to get some other details for this napkin. Oh, thank you. Power Totem Animals Protection. Again, just clarifying what I just saw, the 444. Powerfully protected. But there's something here about this masculine connection to nature and animals. He could have a lot of very um, beautiful um, animal to <laughs> power totems. Um, like the owl, we saw the high priest as the owl, the bear. There's polar bears here. Polar bears are signified divine protection anyway. But there's something very um, connected with this masculine with nature and animals. As I say, I, I did see... In my previous readings, I saw a little dog. So somebody could have a little dog as well here. Um, so winter elders. <laughs> and look, this is the shaman elders here. Wow. So this is just confirming what I've been saying. There's beautiful um, shaman elders here in spirit who have ascended thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago who are guiding this masculine. And they just, they even just turned on my tap. <laughs> Sacred journey, transformation. Look, the elders are guiding this masculine onto his transformational journey. Amazing. And look at that butterfly. Definitely, I mean, we saw the caterpillar previously and now we're seeing the butterfly. Dedication, ceremonial sacred fire. This is all about your soul tribe, but your dedication and your spiritual quest. But this is all about getting together with your like-minded, your soul tribe. But this to me is just ancestors all gathering around and celebrating. And they are dedicated. These ancestors are dedicated to helping you to achieve everything you need to divine masculine. Okay, one more please. Thank you very much for this message. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This so excited to throw lots out. Cleansing, sage, sacred medicine. So there's something here about saging. This masculine needs to sage his space. Now, he could have a lot of negative energy around him that's been sent from karmic energies like past exes and family and friends. Whoever he's had to kind of cut off here. They're saying this masculine really needs to sage their, sp their space. The Milky Way Spirit Road. <laughs> Wow, this is powerful energy. This is your connection to heaven and earth. But saying you're now on some sort of spiritual journey here. And your connection to your ancestors up here. I mean, this is just incredible. I notice how there's two people in this card. So I feel this is you and your divine feminine here. And water affirmations. So this card is all about drinking more water. And... If you can remember, because sometimes I forget, in fact, I forget a lot, say, I love you, water, I thank you, water, I bless you, water, before you drink it. And then as you drink it, send out the loving intention to all the waters of the earth he to turn them into healing waters for everyone. And But there's something here about this masculine needs to drink more water. They might need to get a bit more sun, a bit more air. Drinking more water, looking after your body, nourish your body with lots of H2O. <laughs> And continue to show gratitude to your ancestors, for they have taken you all this way so far. And they're not going to let you down now, okay? Beautiful. Right, let me get a quick zodiac sign. And I'm interested to see if Saturn comes out again, because I'm definitely getting a strong Saturn energy. Okay, and then I'm going to get a message from the masculine's higher self. I encourage him to heal. So the sign, so Neptune, seventh house and Cancer. Very watery energy. Scorpio and Neptune again and eleventh house. So that is Virgo, tenth house and North Node. Sagittarius, second house. And Neptune again, a lot of Neptune energy. Sagittarius again, Saturn and third house. Aries, eighth house and Venus. Aquarius, the moon and fifth house. 
Libra. Neptune again. Wow, Neptune again. 11th house again. Libra, 7th house and the moon. And one more row. Uh, Pisces, 10th house and the sun. And Libra again. And 6th house and Uranus. So Libra, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius and Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius and Aries. I think we're going as well. So interesting. We did get the King of Wands, so it could be a Sag or an Aries. Um, I'm going to get a message from this masculine's higher self to close out. And then we'll send out loving intentions here. But this masculine definitely heals and opens up to his beautiful blessings coming in here. Okay. I'm going to get a message from this masculine's higher self to help them on their healing journey right now. Message for this masculine's higher self to help them on their healing journey right now. So it says, stop, stop pushing against what is, align with it and move on. This has been part of the problem with the masculine. They have been pushing back on their divine purpose. They have been pushing back on their like transformation. And I think my reading I did for the divine masculine, I got the 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 card about um moral compass and falling into temptation and how this masculine felt, oh no, I'm just I'm 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 morally despicable, so I can't move forward. So that kind of energy, not in those words, but similar. But this masculine needs to get out of their head and actually align with what their higher self is trying to push them into. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at doing, for doing a good job at this whole living thing. So again, I was getting this energy of this masculine not being able to forgive himself for the way he treated his divine feminine or feel God in some way. <clears throat> now my throat chakra is starting to close up and I'm not surprised three readings in but there's something about this masculine that really needs to speak more and express his emotion because he's actually um not a bad person but for some reason they have felt like they are a bad person they feel they've let as I say God down let you down in some way divine feminine but they've been told you've actually done an amazing job your life is so special. Treat it with all the loving care you can. So this person has been told you are special. You have a beautiful, special purpose here. But also your life, having this life is special. Having a body that breathes in this fresh air. Having lungs that breathe in the fresh air around us. Having a body to hold our soul is special. And this person has been reminded your life is special. So don't waste it. Stay present. That's where life truly happens. Again, what I was saying, um, this is the worst part with doing videos. I can't remember which video I said it in. But there's no time like the present is the, the thing. That is the key. Live in the present. So let's see. Anything else? Anything else, please? And thank you. Anything else for this message? A little bit of faith goes a long way, remember that. Now we've got the faith card for this person. They're saying this person, don't lose faith. Faith goes a long way. Remember that mustard seed? Remember the mustard seed. So there we have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Three definitely powerful meshes tonight. Really beautiful meshes and... Um, I'm going to go and check the wash from the tap. <laughs> I'm only joking to do that. That often happens a lot. Um, it was my tap turns on and off, and I just know that's him just giving me confirmation. So, thank you all for watching. All the details you need from me is underneath my video. Um, my email, how to reach out to me. Um, my services, what I offer. Also, if you're looking for beautiful jewelry, these are from Otter Spirit. And you get a discount when you buy jewellery from their site just by being one of my viewers. And all the details you need for them are below as well. Thank you all for the love you bring to my channel. Thank you for bringing all the loving energy. I just deliver the messages. You guys bring the energy and it's always loving and beautiful. And so, I mean, honestly, I'm just truly blessed with the viewers I have. So thank you all for 
everything you do for this channel and I look forward to talking to you all again tomorrow. Namaste! Bye!